This is part of a series of instructional videos made for Devil's Dyke Morris men. Today we're having a look at side steps as they appear in the field hand tradition. Our side steps in their simplest form are just a side step right and side step left. And they're basically a one, two, three hop, modified a bit, turning the body sideways. Here's what a pair of uh, side steps, a side step right and a side step left looks like. Fairly straightforward, the movement starts with probably at the end of something like a, a couple of bars of double step with your right foot up in the air. The first thing you do is you turn your whole body slightly round to the left, so your right foot's going across, hence is the uh, side step right. You turn about you know, somewhere 30 to 45 degrees, and as you turn, your, hand, your foot is still up in the air and your hand goes up, so that on beat one of the side step, as your foot comes down, your hand is already up and is about to start coming down. And as in all field town, you give the hanky a bit of a flick to go up. And then you do, essentially, a one, two, three hop. When you've done the one, two, three hop, if, as is most likely what you're, you're going to do next, is a side step to the left, you use the hop to actually turn your whole body round, similarly, 30, 45 degrees facing right. And as you do so, your left foot, which is what should be up in the air, comes across and your left hand goes up so that on the first beat of that side step left, your foot comes down and your hand starts coming down. Let's put that together. So the crucial part of this, to try and make it look natural, is the turn which you're doing on that hop. And because your hand is coming up at the same time, it makes it easy to actually turn your body. So you're starting off, you've just finished a side step right, you're now going to do a side step left, your hand comes up, you hop, and the body comes round. Now as you saw in the little bit earlier on, you can string a whole lot of these together if you need to. Usually you just do two of them. They occur commonly in set dances, so for instance, in all the corner movements of the Valentine, they all start side step right, side step left. And at the end of the side step, say to take Valentine for an example, there are a whole variety of things that you could do. You could, as in the Valentine, do a wave or a galley, um, beetle crushers, etc. The other place in the set dances that the normal side steps occur is during the hay. Now, in the field town hay, let's say that I'm dancing here at number one position. In the hay, I'm going to turn out, not too far out, come back in, and then back into place down at the bottom of the set. And this is going to be done on a couple of side steps and two back steps. Now the side steps follow essentially the same pattern. If I've done things right, as I start the hay, I've got my left foot up in the air and my left hand is coming up so that when I start the hay, I can put my left foot down and my left hand will already be up and be starting to come down. Now in this case, because I'm not doing this side step on the spot, I'm travelling, I'm also turning. So I'll turn on the one, two, three hop so that the movement has already got me facing down towards the bottom of the set. And then on the side step um, right, in this case, I'll carry on turning in the same direction so that now I've actually spun through 360 degrees, I've moved back down the set and 
I'm ready to do the back steps which will take me back into the place where I want to end up, which is down at the bottom of the set in the number five position. Similarly, if I was on the other side of the set, say dancing at number two, the hay would do the same sort of pattern, mirror image of, out, question mark, down, and then back into place. And I would also do sidestep in the same way. If I've done things correctly in number two position, as I'm about to go into the hay, my right foot is up in the air, and my right hand is already going up towards the top, so that by the time that right foot comes down and my body is starting to turn, my hand is right up there and I'm already beginning to bring it down. And during that turn, during that one, two, three hop, I've already turned considerably. By the time it comes to doing the second side step, which in this case is going to be a side step left, I can get this hand up complete turning my body and be ready to back into place. So putting that together, so dancing the hay with the side steps in the number two position, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, back, hop, back, hop, feet together, jump, or rather I'll probably be facing across the set, um, ready to do a half chip or whatever it is that I'm supposed to be doing next. The key thing to remember about using the sidestep in the hay, apart from the fact that you've got to keep turning and you keep turning in the same direction, so you're turning out on the first sidestep, you're carrying on turning on the second one, and then you're backing into place, is that try and make sure that you get the foot that's not the leading foot come in behind the other foot. So what I mean by that is one, two, three, pop. One, two, three, hop, back, hop, back, hop, feet together, jump. A little bit uh, more complicated than just a straightforward side step, but it, it occurs so commonly that it's important to be able to get that one right, to be able to nail it. Uh, the second kind of side step that I want to talk about um, now is what's called the long side step. Now, the long side step is often said just to be straightforwardly a side step right, a bar of double step, a side step left, and that's it. Beat together, jump at the end, or whatever's coming next. And that's almost right, except that the side step right doesn't involve a hop. The side step right goes straight into the double step. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. One, two, three, go, beat, the end, jump. In fact, sometimes it makes life a bit easier if you actually count the thing under your breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pop, one, two, three, beat, jump. The key things about it, though, are <clears throat> the contrast between the hand going up on the side step right. So you're one, two, three, and then as you're coming out of that one, two, three, you'll have turned your body so that you're facing forwards, ready for the three, uh, four, five, six, seven. In other words, the double step. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop, and then you turn. And again, the contrast in the hands is what makes it um, a good looking movement, that if you've got the hands going up here, then you've just got the nice floaty field count, double step hands, and then the hands go up again, ready for the uh, um, side step, whichever one it is, <laughs> side step left. <coughs> Usually this movement finishes um, on a feet together jump. It's found in set dances, um, <coughs> for instance you'd find it in the Forester, you'd also find it in um, field town step back and it occurs of course in the jigs most notably in nutting girl hope you found that helpful